Hi my friend, we are in our road to 2500 and you can see I again dropped a little bit of rating points because I lost the game and yeah, I, uh, I was distracted, I was winning and then I lost and yeah. let's do it, mm, let's do it and try to get better, try to get higher and this time with uh, Sicilian against close Sicilian I mean, no, I'm always wondering why I these players play close Sicilian. The problem from, from my point of view is that they play e4 means that they want to play a bit aggressive. Let's attack to the center. I think if he exchanges, I'm very happy because yeah, I have a very very nice uh, pawn in at the center. So I'm developing pawns. Okay, I don't know what to do. It push this pawn or to take it. That's always a issue for me. Here is where I should uh, think about. I'm also thinking about pushing, putting the knight on e4, attacking the queen, forcing knight trades, and then grabbing that pawn. Then grabbing that pawn maybe it's not the best idea, but you know it's not bad. Let's do it. I will have a better pawn structure in that case, I believe. If it doesn't take, then then I think I'm doing fine, right? Or I'm not doing fine. I mean, he cannot uh, ignore it. He should take it because I'm attacking to g-pawn as well. And it's very dangerous. You cannot just move the queen away and say that I'm okay with this and I get away with this. There is no way the queen can defend the g-pawn and d-pawn together. So he will take it certainly. Or he could the blunder. I, I love if he blunders and then we have an easy mm, video. <laughs> I don't need to struggle to find a winning move. I just need to play normally then. But I, I, I think there is no way to avoid this night trade. And after the knight trade, I will grab the central pawn. I don't want to let him destroy my pawn instruction. And perhaps after several exchanges, we arrive to a position that I play f5, defending my pawn instruction and improving my pawn structure better. I will have a pawn chain from h7 to e4, and yeah, and uh, in the in the king side, and my e4 pawn is a passed pawn. In the queen side, I have a minority. I have two pawns. I will have two pawns, A and B pawns, and yeah, the uh, then I should uh, design minority attack and level the pawns in the queen side and enjoy my um, passed pawn on the king side. No, he's basically losing a pawn or not losing a pawn or maybe he's really losing a pawn. I didn't I didn't uh, consider that he's uh, losing a pawn because now I'm attacking the knight he should defend he should move the knight then I grab the d pawn for free attacking the, the attacking the bishop and of course uh -huh, he finds a way he finds a nice way to get around this but it does it does it and solve the problem I can grab the d pawn with the knight Or I can grab the d pawn with the pawn. I can grab the d pawn with the knight. I can do both of them. Let's consider both cases. Grab the d pawn with the knight. If it takes with the bishop, I take back. And then I have extremely, extremely strong pawn structure. And he cannot stop my central pawns uh, from queening. Except giving up peace at some point. So... He doesn't take with the bishop uh, after I take the pawn. He should perform some moves. He can go for Haragiri, for example, push f5. Uh, that I don't like it. And I think it's very bad. It's very weak, but I don't like it anyway. So another option is to grab the pawn with the pawn. Then of course he cannot take my. He cannot take my. 
uh, e pawn because I take his uh, I take his bishop with pawn and then it's the end of a day. I think I'm root rooting towards grabbing pawn with the pawn because I may win the third pawn as well. So I I thought about this that he can grab the knight if he doesn't make a mistake. Yes, and in this case I just simply grab the knight and he still should move the bishop away. And where does the bishop goes? Oh, he resigned. Thanks. I mean, I uh, just want to show you what happened. Uh, bishop has a place to go. Bishop can go here. It seems that I fork the bishop. Yes, I fork, but he has a intermezzo move of taking this one. I take and he takes this one. Yeah, it's uh, totally winning. It's totally winning. It all started from here. At this position, I was okay. And uh, notice that, okay, I, I've seen that I should make a pawn push because uh, next, uh, if I do something the nonsense, for example, let's say this move, then this is a piece. Okay, I did this pawn push and it's always good if uh, you as a black can open the center with threat. Okay, because usually black is down development and cannot open the center with mm, a threat. But this time I was opening center with threat and he had to, yes, and what I thought about is that he pushes, okay? And here I was uh, thinking what to do next. Should I push this pawn and lose uh, the piece? And okay, I will gain it back later. But it was a difficult calculation and it is uh, not just difficult calculation. For example, the engine says first grab this pawn and then grab the other one. And for example, if taking here, I don't know why. Uh, right now it says minus two. I just want to show you if I do some move, like see, uh, right now is minus uh, is almost zero. If I do a move that is not exactly ng move, then it's not uh, advantage. And it's difficult to find exact engine line. And I was thinking about him pushing the pawn. And for that reason, I was thinking maybe I just simply go backward uh, uh after this uh, after this push i maybe simply go backward i was considering this move as well but okay i should uh, check every possible tactics here but uh, i was thinking what to do and it was not easy but he made it easy for me right, somehow i mean he uh, said that okay i'm white i'm opening the center but it was too too aggressive and as you can see, I'm attacking his um, uh, pieces again. He should move them again. And he pushed the pawn to the center. And this was the end of the story. Uh, at first, I saw it that, okay, I will attack the G3 pawn. He cannot defend it like this, for example, because then we grab this and this is a piece. Okay. Or at least it's a very, very strong pawn. It's a very similar structure as we have seen earlier. Yeah, and he did a mistake and um, we enjoyed this um, situation. These two pawns are unstoppable and we win. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and we will discuss next games next time. See what happens. Easy win. Bye.